1997, the CFC that were listed on the phase out protocol. And non CFC protocol problems had to be developed for pharmaceuticals in the ICE. And international pharmaceutical aerosol consortium on toxicity testing were formed to test alternative problems for NDI. And the solution, what was the global solution? The global solution was that taken from voluntary protocol on the substance that declared earlier in 1987 and it has a treaty was signed by 195 countries and Bangladesh also is signatory. Aims to control ozone depleting substance, CFCs, halone and carbon tetrachloride and set phase out schedule for CFC production and consumption worldwide by January 2012. And the global response was worldwide adoption and implementation, real international cooperation and progress, and one of the most successful international agreements. As told by UN Secretary General Mr. Ban Ki Moon, he said, I hope governments will look at such results from the Montreal Protocol and feel empowered to act across a wide range of environmental challenges, not only in prosperous times. Now the global reality. Even with successful implementation, ozone depletion will continue for some time. CFC charts, stored in equipment, products continue to rise to stratosphere. CFC remaining atmosphere for 500 years and ozone layer will return to normal by about 2050. Now global needs, MDIs and DPAs are needed to treat 30 million Alba people and 410 million Cuban people worldwide and which are available in developed and developing countries and necessary to develop efficacious, cost-effective and safe CFC-free alternatives. And pharmaceutical industry invest and give us $2 million to develop CFC-free problem over the past 20 years. And CFC-free MDIs that contain antiprobial gains. Now improvements made by HFA MDIs. Final particle size of our vaclobazazone diacrofanid is a product. Deeper lung penetration, high dose users, less side effects like hostess of voice, softer, slower, and warmer spray, minimize cold free and effect, performance at cold temperature, no crystal growth in hot and humid climates. Now, first HFMDI was made in 1994, that was the Utamon HFMDI, manufactured by 3M pharmaceuticals in USA, and in 1996, the steroid. HFMD was made by the same company in USA in 1996. <laughs> now the pharmacokinetics shows that JTFA lung is, lung deposition is around 56 percent, and other person absorption is there, and other GI and all the vascular cell and liver it shows partial absorption of 6.8 percent. So it. CFCM drives did not reach the small areas to any great extent due to its large particle size, that is 3.5 micrometer, mass median, aerodynamic, and diameter, and particle size for each of MDI is only 1.2 micrometer. That is size distribution to geometry to standard deviation and reach the entire respiratory tract. Particle size of 1.2 to 1.5 micrometer resulted in deposition lung by over 50 percent. Here we see some deposition of each of the steroids, where we see the lung deposition is 51 percent, preferential deposition is 29 percent, stomach is 1 percent, and exhale is 18 percent. <coughs> also, we are seeing the gamma symptomatic lung images after using MDI, where each of the metrobiosome has almost entirely covered all the lung, all of the lung, but CFC did not. Orofaryngeal deposition. Orofaryngeal deposition is much less in HFA MDI compared to CFC steroid inhalers, which led to candidiasis, oral thrush, as well as on effect on hypothalamic pituitary and real axis suppression. Here we see the orofaryngeal deposition, which shows HFA MDI is less. Here we also see the deposition of HFA in healthy world years. Now the patient health. Patient need ongoing access to safe, efficacious, and affordable inhalers. Absolute good of design. DPAs are available in most countries. Supply must be afford at affordable prices, and patients must remain confident about their treatment. <coughs> now, some drawbacks of HFA. HFA is also a greenhouse effect gas responsible for global warming. Some patients who are allergic to corn may have extreme shortness of breath. Allergic type reactions to ethanol used in HFA inhalers may occur. It tastes funny, clogs very easily, and costly and may require priming for some days. And each of the challenges for the pharmaceuticals. They have to switch to work from 40 years of old MDI technical understanding, and which is very challenging. Substances used in CFC MDIs were not soluble in HFS. 
Conventional steel material were not compatible with each other. Actuator design much more difficult to obtain correct particle size. And manufacturing facilities has to be substantially modified to accommodate each other, especially to accommodate the flammability of foam solvent. Now the conclusion. HF NDA is inevitable because safeties will be phased out globally. Therefore, patients should be instructed to switch over now. HF NDA is an improved product compared with their CFC counterparts. However, only some of these improvements will be tangible to the patients and doctors in general practice. New HF inhalers are technically superior to CFA, CFC inhalers. But we may wait for new greenhouse friendly propellant. Only time will tell how this drama will unfold. Ultimately, making the switch will have a positive environmental impact when considered millions of asthmatic who will not be released in harmful state of Thank you. 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 আপনার তো আগে সিগারেট খাবেন না সিগারেট খাওয়ার পর যে এয়ার পলিউশন হয় অধিকাংশ সিগারেট আছে স্মোকার এর দুটো আমাদের অ্যাজমা এবং সুইপিটি হয় তারপর এখন দেখেন ঢাকাতে জায়গা জায়গায় গার্মেন্টস ইন্ডাস্ট্রি এই আশেপাশে প্রচুর গার্মেন্ট ইন্ডাস্ট্রি আছে এই গার্মেন্ট ইন্ডাস্ট্রিতে যে গ্যাস হয় এর থেকে এয়ার পলিউশন অ্যাজমা সুইপিটি হয় আমাকে একবার মেজার রহমান সদস্যা বলছেন উনি যখন প্রাইম মিনিস্টার ছিলেন উনি বলছেন যে নুরুল আমিন সাহেবিস্টার ছিলেন উনি এখানে এই যে তেজগাঁও ইন্ডাস্ট্রিয়াল এরিয়া করছিলেন ইন্ডাস্ট্রি করার জন্য তখন নুরুল আমিন সাহেবকে মেজার রহমান সদস্য সাহেবের ভাষায় নুরুল আমিন সাহেবকে সবাই বলছেন একটু পাগল देखें मालिक ने इंडस्ट्रियल प्रसेस इंडस्ट्री 